Hi guys, so um, I'm just going to forewarn you, I do have music playing in the background, but um, this is going to be pretty much like a huge store kind of haul um, for like an everyday college like college student. Um, I wouldn't say like everyday, but pretty close for a girl anyways. Um, I pretty much went shopping between Price Chopper and Rite Aid, and I spent only like 70 or so dollars um, which isn't bad because like everything that I bought was on sale so I was really proud of myself that's one thing like my parents taught me is just buy stuff on sale so um, I'm first gonna start off with the things I bought from Price Chopper and then the rest of the things I bought from Rite Aid are makeup related so yeah I'm just gonna get started okay so the first thing that I bought is a repurchase of the Noxzema Ultimate Clear Anti Blemish Pads and this has literally saved my skin. I've been using these for like two weeks now. And my face, I had a breakout like all here and some like a, like by my jawline. And it's like barely gone. Like I have like this blemish right here. And it's like I have a little redness. But it's literally all gone. And I've used, been using these pads for like two weeks. And I only paid... $3.99 for this and again this was on sale it was like normal price it's like uh, I think like $4.59 or something like that but you get 90 pads and it does say clears and prevents breakouts for smooth clear skin um, sal salic acid acne treatment and this stuff honestly works this is probably like the best acne uh, treatment I have like honestly done for my skin so, I recommend this. Alright, next thing I bought were air fresheners. Um, I'm addicted to buying air fresheners. I like having my room smell nice and clean and fresh. So, I picked up these, renews it. They're like new, or it said that they were new in the stores. So, um, I picked up like six. I got three Tahitian Breeze. And these are like probably my favorite, but I'm not going to open them for like... A while until like my other ones dispose and the other three that I got were Hawaiian Oasis and it kind of smells like a green tea kind of scent so and I think that it's very refreshing so I highly recommend these and these were 10 for 10 so I only paid like a dollar so I only paid six dollars for them all right next things that I got were laundry related I paid like, since I'm in college, like, I look for bundles or, like, bulk. So, um, I picked up these gain, uh, laundry or dryer sheets, uh, for only, I think these were also $3.99 also, and you get 120 of them. And I love gain. And then the next thing I got were these Arm & Hammer, like, pods, like the Tide ones. But I got 73 of them for like five bucks and I was really surprised because I normally get the gain flings which are like the Tide Pods and like these uh, but um, I was like doing the math because I usually buy like two bags and that comes out to be like 32 pods and I would have ended up paying eight dollars for two of them or I would pay like five or six dollars for this and I would get 73 so and I have used these before and I think they're really awesome and they work really well so I highly recommend these also I picked up a box of tampons because I needed them um I've been keep, like trying to try this particular brand and it's the Playtex Gentle Glide 360 um and for 36 I only paid like 8 bucks for it, so, and this was also on sale. So I saved, like, the whole price for like this, it was like $8.99, and they dropped 99 cents, so you ended up only paying $8 for it. So, yeah. Done talking about tampons. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm just going to move on to the things I bought from Rite Aid. All the things from Rite Aid, again, are uh, makeup, so... 
the things that I, the brands that I bought were Maybelline Physicians Formula and Revlon. And all of these products that I bought were on sale. Maybelline were buy one get one fifty percent off. Revlon and both Revlon and Physicians Formula were forty percent off. So I'm just going to start with the repurchases. Um, one of the repurchases that I bought were um, the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And I did mention this in my other recent drugstore haul that I bought one of these already. But this one was just the Illuminator one. And it's so pink that it literally did not help my dark circles at all. So I pretty much just used this as a highlighter. And it's just so pink compared to like the normal one. You guys can see it in the light. Like it's so pink. And it just doesn't help my skin at all because my skin is more cool toned. But yeah, um, I purchased this in the light pale. And as you guys can tell, I was running out. So, and I bought this back in like May. So, this goes really long way. And you don't even need that much. So... Alright, the next thing I repurchased was Maybelline the Rocket, and I put this in my favorites for mascara, and this was just a repurchase because I needed a new one. Um, the next Maybelline product I bought was Maybelline's Volume Express Mascara, and this is in the Falsies, the original one. I did try the one with like the lace packaging. And I didn't like that because it was always clumping my lashes and it made it look like I only had six eyelashes, you know, like Spongebob. But, uh, I figured I'd give this one a try. I bought this in Blackest Black and the Rocket is in Very Black and these are just regular mascaras, like they aren't in waterproof or anything like that because the normal mascaras work for me. Um, the next thing I bought is this bronzer from Physicians Formula because I know Physicians Formula create amazing bronzers um, and one that like I just eyeballed in the store was this one because I thought the packaging was really really cute on it uh, this is the bronze booster by Physicians Formula uh, this is in the shade light to medium and you can use this as like an overall like glow powder like you put this on top of like your setting powder or you can use it just to contour your face like it works both ways and I don't know but I just love the packaging like I like how there's like a little sun and I did open this just to see what the color was and it's what I can tell from like the other bronzers that I have purchased like this is really matte which is good I really love this packaging, like I think it's adorable. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty big, like it like fits on my palm of my hand, but yeah. So you open it, it's just like the Neutrogena Compacts, but you have your mirror and then this is the product. Okay, it's very light, but I think it's gonna be an awesome bronzer and then you shift like, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it's like you lift this up, and that's the little brush you get. Um, I'm not sure about the brush, because it's kind of like, it's really stiff, and it kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. Uh, all face brush. Not like the studio line, but the other one. But yeah, the texture of the brush really reminds me of that. So I probably won't be using that a lot, but yeah, this is what the bronzer looks like. And I think it's really pretty. Really pretty color, because my skin itself, it's really pale. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, I am <laughs> very fair, so this bronzer is probably going to work for me. Alright, the last two things I bought were from Revlon again. These were, Revlon was also 40% off. Um... I decided to give the Revlon 24 Hour Color Stay Foundation a try. I bought this um, in the combination oily skin, and I'm in 220 Natural Beige. It looks just like this, and this is gets compared a lot on YouTube to the Mac Pro Longwear, but 
since I'm in college, I can't afford <laughs> MAC or Urban Decay or any of those products right now. So Revlon is the co like closest to high-end products as I can get. But um, if you guys want a foundation review on this product, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be most likely doing one anyways. But yeah. And the last thing I purchased was the Revlon Color Stay uh, Rich Actable Eyeliner. And this goes up to 16 hours. And it comes with a smudger. And I bought this in just like, it's a classic black. Pretty much. And yeah. So if you guys want to see any reviews on the products that I bought, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I will try to be making more videos. If you want to see a specific video, comment below on any of my videos. Um, or you can personal message me. And I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.